See this? This is sugar. Not any of that frou-frou sugar. Not sugar on the raw, not brown sugar, not unbleached, whatever. This is the cheapest, crappiest sugar, if there is such a thing, that I could find in my local grocery store. This is four pounds. I suppose you're wondering what that has to do with the lawn or that tape measure that's laying out there behind me. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I read this article. I'm gonna share with you a little bit about it, and it made me think, what the heck? Let's give it a shot. So look, here's the deal. Uh, the application rate on this is going to make this the most expensive thing possibly in lawn care, in the world of lawn care. I don't know that there's anything that's going to be more expensive than this application. And the crazy thing about it is, these articles talk about like cheap alternatives to fertilizer. Well, it's not fertilizer. Okay, let's just go ahead and throw that out. Uh, the, the biggest benefit we're gonna get here is this. It's gonna stimulate some soil bacteria, maybe help to release some extra nitrogen. It's gonna spike some populations of bacteria for a moment. It's gonna be burned up within a few days and then that'll be the end of it. But look, according to that article and anywhere else I could find, one pound per 10 and a half square feet. Holy mother of God! This was $3 on sale, 75 cents a pound, which means if I wanted to do my entire 5,000 square feet, it would cost me, oh man, $375. Oh! Oh, so, so, so many pounds of sugar. It would take 500 pounds of sugar to do this place. I mean, that's insane. That is insane. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do a test strip, two feet wide, 20 feet long, 40 square feet. That's what we're gonna do. And there's only a couple of things that can happen, but let's do the application and then we'll talk about what we might see. And then we'll wait 24 hours and see if anything is coming up. And we'll just do a little bit of an elapsed time. And over the course of videos coming out over the next three or four weeks, Maybe we'll see more and more of a difference. Hard to say, but uh, let's go sweeten up this right now. Go ahead and kick on the water now. Let it kind of soak in there. And then let's talk about what we could see. And then we'll wait and see what we actually see. Okay, so let's talk about what could happen, what might happen, what probably will happen, okay? In crop production, multiple sugars have been tested, especially on like soybeans, corn, and things like that. There isn't really a statistical difference between types of sugar, and that even includes molasses, as far as increasing uh, crop productivity. There, there are bumps that always happens with adding some sugars to uh, crops, minimal amount, but at this rate that I applied, it's nowhere near that application. Whoever came up with this turf application rate, I really don't know, and there are some, sort of anecdotal things about where people have put a bunch of sugar down, say on top of weeds and things like that. And what it ends up doing is starving it out. And then there's the flip side that says, well, if you make your soil healthier, this will also help as sort of a weed control. Like none of that really works for me in my brain. Yes, having healthier grass uh, in general, thicker turf, you're not really going to see weeds. That's just the way that works. So if it's going to increase the total density of the plant uh, population, cool. Um, but again, it's not a fertilizer. What's ultimately going to happen here is the sugar is going to stimulate some bacteria. Those bacteria are also stimulated by nitrogen. And, and there's a number of other things you can do to kind of get things moving in the soil. And given this rate, it's entirely possible that this is going to rob nitrogen from the plant and we're going to see the grass turn yellow, not turn green. That's entirely possible. So where I'm standing with it right now is there's, there's three ways that this could go based on that app rate. And it's like this. It's either going to rob nutrition from the soil because of this carbon material. Like if you put too much biochar down, it's just going to suck nitrogen and it's going to kind of starve out the area. So that's a possibility for a short time. It'll, it'll come back. So there's one, it could kind of yellow the grass. Two, uh, there could be just no visible change whatsoever. It's probably in the higher than 50% likelihood out of these three. Third, we could see a green strip show up because there's enough nitrogen in the soil, there's enough stimulation happening that we kind of move that up and release uh, maybe a little bit more, that's possible. So this is gonna be interesting. 
or a waste of time or a waste of money. And I drink my coffee black. Let's come back out later and check it out. Before we take a look at the sugar thing, look how even the lawn looks right now. Freaking epic. That was from putting 32 ounces of RGS through my fertigation system over 5,000 square feet. So if everything came out exactly equally, it all got six ounces per thousand. And now you can't tell the difference between the body of the lawn and this area up here where I had been treating. Everything's just looking awesome right now. So totally evened out. Temperatures are hitting 90s. And this bluegrass is just cruising. Let's look at our sugar test. Well, there's our test strip. There's nothing. There is nothing. There's zero. I haven't mowed the grass. I haven't let the robo mower mow the grass. Nothing has gone on out here. So it's come up maybe an inch and a half in the last five, six days now. There's no difference in color. There's no difference in growth. This thing is even and plain all the way across. I'm going to say that there's nothing going on. Uh, probably a good thing not to put a pound of sugar out per 10 square feet. Let's go ahead and throw that out. Since we didn't do any sort of bioessay out here, there's no way to know if there was an increase or a decrease or anything like that. All we can really say is visually there's no difference anywhere, anywhere back here. And this is truly the best time to see it. The sun's getting low and it's shooting right across it. If there was going to be something, this would be the time. So I'd say, uh, Leave the sugar to your coffee and tea and check out these videos and I bet you'll learn something over here. I'll talk to you soon.